in this video you will learn how to automate a desktop application with UiPath Studio X. The RPA bot that we are going to build in this video is going to add clients to a CRM system which is called MyCRM. Thank you for watching, my name is Thomas Janssen and I'm a UiPath Most Valuable Professional. Let's start right away. If you navigate to the project folder by clicking on projects, open project folder, you'll see that we have two files here. The first file is the application that we're gonna automate in this video, and that's my CRM. I'm gonna open it, and you will see here all the fields that we're gonna automate. We're gonna fill in the first name, the last name, we're gonna fill in the state of every person, and we're also gonna fill in the email address. Then we're gonna skip to the next step. We're gonna click on company, and we're gonna fill in the company name of the client. Then we're gonna to go to order, we're gonna click on save, click on OK. That's the entire robot. And this way we're gonna add a couple of clients and those clients you can find back in this file, clients.xlsx. You can find both the MyCRM application as well as the clients.xlsx file on the link in the description of this video. Before we start, let's start with opening the MyCRM application and let's close this window. And the first activity that I'm gonna add is the, called use application. That's this one, use application slash browser. Take it and just drag it to the center of your screen. Then make sure that the MyCRM application is on front and click on UiPad and then click on indicate application to automate. Now you can click on the application and you will see the application becomes green. Click on the application to show UiPad that this is the application that we want to automate. In the next step, we're gonna show UiPad that we want to fetch our data from an Excel file. So search for an activity that's called use Excel and then drag it in the US application, like this. Now we're gonna show you iPad which file we want to use. So click here on the directory icon and click on clients.xlsx. Again, make sure that the file is present in this folder. Click open. Then the next step, we want to do something for every line in this Excel file. And you have just seen that this Excel file consists of multiple lines. And if you want to do something for every line, we're gonna search for the for each. And this is the one you need for each Excel row. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna drag it in the use Excel file. So at this moment, you should have the use application browser. In there, you should have the use Excel file. And in there, you should have the for each Excel row. Then we're gonna show you iPad which sheet in Excel we want to use, where we want to get the data from. And for that, click here on the plus symbol, Excel, and then sheet one. If your file has multiple sheets, you will see them all here, but this file has only one sheet, sheet one. Click here, and you wipe it once to know whether this file has headers or not. And the headers, that's basically the Jello row at the top of the Excel file. And because this file has headers, I'm gonna click here on has headers. Okay, let's open the application again, and let's check what's the first field that we're gonna automate. The first field is the first name, and then immediately we're gonna continue with the last name. And for that, we're gonna use the type into activity. So search for type into, this is the one you need and take it two times and drag it in the for each Excel row, one and two. Now we have to show you iPad where it needs to type in the application. So I'm gonna click here on indicate an app and then my CRM will become visible. Now it wants us to show you iPad where it has to type and I'm gonna click here in the field first name. The green field that you see here is a target and the blue field, that's the answer. The answer supports your iPad in, in identifying the right element. Click confirm. And then we also need to show your iPad what it needs to type. And for that, we're gonna click here on the plus symbol. And we can type a text here like this, but we can as well uh, use the information from the Excel file. And because we are using the for each Excel row, we can basically tell your iPad I want this field from the line where it's currently going through. And if you open the Excel, just to make this visible, so the for each will basically support the bot in going through every row. So this is the header, so this will not be processed. Then you wipe it will first go to this row, this row, this row, and this row. So the first time, the first name is John, and the second time, the first name is Jane. Let's go to your iPad. And if you want to use this feature, click here on plus, current row, first name. And the current row will ensure that your iPad is taking the first name of the line that it's currently going through. So click here on first name, and then let's as well teach your iPad how to type the last name. So click indicate an app, last name, confirm. 
And then we're gonna go to current row, last name. Okay, that was easy, right? The next field that we want to type is a state. I'm gonna skip these fields. You can use a type into in order to automate them, but it will be just the same as with the first name and the last name. The state field is a bit different and that's why I want to show this one because for that we're gonna use a select item. So take the select item, drop it here. And again, we have to show UiPath which item it needs to select. So click in indicate an app and then we're gonna click here on state. Click confirm. Now you will see that you can select one of the states here and then UiPath will automatically select every time that specific state. But of course, that's not, this is not what we want. What we do want is that UiPath takes the state of the client it's currently processing. So the first time there's John's state, then there's Jane's state, etc. So click on plus, current row, state. Then the next field that we want to type is the email. And for that, I'm gonna again use the type into activity. Take it and drag it below the select item. Click indicate an app. And let's go for the personal email now. So click here and click confirm. And the email address that we want to type is current row email. That's easy, right? Now it becomes a bit more difficult because now we have to teach the robot to switch to the other uh, tab. So to company, and then we're gonna provide the company name. So before we are gonna type the company name, we have to tell you to switch to this tab. Otherwise it cannot type the company name. So for that, I'm gonna use the click activity. This one, put it here, indicate an app. And I'm gonna teach you to click on company. Click confirm. What's important is that now we self, we also have to navigate to this company page. So click here on company. And then we're gonna teach you iPad how to type the company name. For that, I'm gonna use again the type into activity, this one, and make sure that you put it below the company because if you put it here, we have not switched to the other tab yet. So take the type into, put it below the click company, and then let's teach you iPad how to type the company name. Click here and click confirm. Click on type this plus current row company name. Okay, and of course this is not a real application, but I want to simulate the process of saving this line. And for that, we're gonna switch to order and then we're gonna click on save. And then we're gonna click on OK. And then the last step, and this is really important, is to navigate back to people so that the robot can start with adding the next record. So in total, we have to add four clicks. Let's do that. Search for the click activity. And let's add it four times. One two, three, and four. Okay, so as I mentioned, currently the robot is still in the company tab. So we have to teach it to navigate to the order tab. So that's gonna be the first click. Teach the robot to go to order and click confirm. Now ourselves, we're also gonna navigate to order and, and then we're gonna show you up at the next step. Indicate an app. And the next step is to click on save. Click confirm. Now you will see that in order to get to the next step, you also yourself have to click on save. And then we're gonna teach you iPad to click on this OK button. Make sure that the button is still in your screen. Click and indicate an app and teach the robot to click here. Click confirm. Okay, in order to go to the next step, we now have to click on OK. So this uh, pop-up closes. And then we're gonna automate the last step, indicate an app. And let's click on the people sheet. Click confirm. Okay, let's close the application. And if you want, you can click on use application properties. And you can as well configure the robot to always open this application. So if you want, you can here click on open and then always. By default, it's if not open. That means if the application is not open, you have it will open it. If it's already open, you have it will use the existing application. Now we have built a robot. Let's make a test run. Click here on run. As you could see, the run of my robot was successful and I hope your robot was just as successful. This is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back in one of the other videos.